in this lecture i explain definition of metric space and its example so first of all the definition of metric space the definition of metric space is let x be a non empty set a metric on x is a real valued function d from x cross x into r so here x is a real valued function real valued function means which codomain is a set of real number now this d satisfy the following four conditions then it is called a metric on x and the set together with the metric d is called as a metric space so which are these conditions the first condition is non negativity means d of xy is greater than equal to 0 for all xy belong to the capital x second coincidence means d of xy is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to y for all xy belongs to the capital x that is a distance between two points is 0 if and only if two points are coincident now the third property is symmetry means d of xy is equal to d of yx for all xy belongs to the capital x that is the distance from point x to the point y is same as the distance from point y to point x now the fourth property is a triangle inequality means d of xy is less than equal to d of xz plus d of zy for all xyz belong to the capital x that is the length of one side of the triangle cannot exceed the sum of the length of two sides so these are the four properties if d satisfies then d is called as a metric the non empty set capital x together with a metric d is called as metric space and is denoted by xd now what you observe from the definition that the metric d is always non negative so that is a note one a metric d is always non negative how can we conclude this by using the given conditions that is uh, from triangle inequality we can say 
taking any two x y belongs to the capital X, it follows that d of x x is less than or equal to d of x y plus d of y x by triangle inequality because here uh, taking we have to x y z belongs to capital x but not mentioning x is equal to x is not equal to y so therefore we can take the x x here now from the coincidence what you get d of x s is equal to 0 so 0 is less than equal to now by symmetric property we can conclude that d of x y is nothing but the d of y x so we get the twice d of x y and therefore we get 0 is less than equal to d of x y and therefore d is always a non negative now consider the one example of this example let capital r be the set of real numbers define a function d from r cross r into r by d of x y is equal to absolute value of x minus y for all x y belongs to the capital r then this d satisfy these four properties non negativity coincidence symmetric and triangle equity and hence this d is a metric on r so one by one we are to proving all that properties show that d is a metric on r so solution so we are given the r is a set of real numbers and function d from r cross r to r by d of x y is equal to absolute value of x minus y for all x belongs to r so one first property is non negativity for x comma y belongs to r we have d of x y is equal to absolute value of x minus y by definition of d now absolute value of real number is always greater than or equal to 0 and therefore d of x y is greater than or equal to 0 so it satisfies the first non negative property now second that is the coincidence for that we have taking x y belongs to the capital r consider d of x y is equal to 0 in coincidence we are to proving that the d of x y is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to y means if we consider the d of x y is equal to 0 we get the x is equal to y and if x is equal to y we get the d of x y is equal to 0 so this is implies and implies by by definition of d of x y it is absolute value of x minus y is equal to 0 now it implies and implies why we get the x minus y equal to 0 now we get x is equal to y from this thus if d of x y is equal to 0 we get x is equal to y so therefore it satisfies the coincident property now the next property that is the third property symmetry for taking x y belongs to the capital r where x is not equal to y consider d of x y now we have to bring here for symmetry d of x y is equal to d of y x so by definition of d its value is 
absolute value of x minus y. Now we can write this as a minus in the bracket y minus x because it is absolute value. Now this is equal to absolute value of y minus x. Since absolute value of a b is equal to absolute value of a into absolute value of b. Here we have to minus 1 and uh, into y minus x. So we get this value is 1. Now by definition of d, this is nothing but a d of y x. So what you get therefore d of x y is equal to d of y x and therefore this d is a symmetry. Now the fourth property, last property that is a triangle inequality. So for that consider the three points x y z belongs to R. Consider d of x y. By definition of d this is a x absolute value of x minus y. Now we can write this is as a x minus z plus z minus y. So if we cancel the z to z we get the same absolute value of x minus y. Now this is greater than or equal to absolute value of x minus z plus absolute value of z minus y. Since absolute value of a plus b is less than or equal to absolute value of a plus absolute value of b. Now by definition of d this is a d of xz and this is a d of zy. So what you get therefore d of xy is less than or equal to d of xz plus d of zy for xyz belongs to the capital R. Therefore d is a metric on R and therefore Rd is a metric space. This metric space we define that is the d of x y is a equal to absolute value of x minus y. This we have to define here is called as a absolute value metric. It is denoted by R dash. It is also known as usual metric on capital R and the metric Rd is known as usual metric space. So this is an example of a metric space. Now on the next we have to consider another example in next lecture.